Hi, I'm Trevor from TrevorDumbleton.com and today we're going to ask a question that you probably should ask and in internet the question is whoever you're following should you do as I say or should you do as I do and it's quite difficult to know what works and what doesn't work in internet marketing and it's even worse when things are at odds with each other for instance it's often a wise decision to follow one or two people quite closely and discard the rest and maybe even get mentored by one of them but what happens when something isn't congruent and this happens probably more than any of us would care to mention someone will say you should do such and such a thing and it's tempting to take that suggestion at face value and a lot of us do it because life's just too short to go back to basics on everything and we need a degree of trust to be able to function and we even trust politicians occasionally so it, it can happen and there are various reasons why things can get out of sync between what's being suggested for you to do and what the person suggesting those things is actually doing in real life and one reason could be that they're using shortcuts that work fine once you've been doing something for a while but aren't recommended for a beginner and for instance I put out an easy formula for content well, writing content, creating content, whatever but I haven't used it here and that because I haven't used it here, it doesn't invalidate the formula I suggest of coming up with a headline and between three and five, three and ten topics to cover in the content below it, each with their own section or subheading. That works fine, works really, really well, and for a beginner it's absolutely fantastic because it almost writes the, the article or the content or the video for you. But I've created enough content to know that I can break that formula and still get results. Whether I'd get better results or not and whether this particular piece of content would actually be better if I did as I say rather than as I'm doing isn't something I'm going to worry about too much I won't lose any sleep over it and you'll need to decide for yourself if it's a relatively small amount of rule breaking is okay or if it's diverging too far from what's been said and if the person you're following has a blog you might be able to ask the question in the comments section of the relevant page if they've got comments switched on and if they actually pay any attention to them or you could submit a question usually via a contact form or just put reply to one of their emails that's relatively easy the bigger problem comes when it's what's happening in real life is completely at odds with what's being taught maybe and let's take an example someone's telling you to use Facebook retargeting adverts but they're not using those same ads to pretty much stalk you almost as soon as you look about look at their website so you look thinking about it well they're te telling me to use that but they're not using it and then that calls into question whether or not you should be following what they're teaching at all and it happens as I said a lot in internet marketing and actually in other areas one of the markets I'm in is self-help and I know of at least one self-help guru who preaches that everyone should be in a really high state of enlightenment and shouldn't let th and they should let things go and you know pass them by and not sink to whatever it happens to be but themselves they cling on to power with a pretty much an iron grip and once I work that out basically it follows that it's not someone I follow any longer even though what they teach is good and it works very effectively so in that particular case I'll follow what they teach but not them but going back to internet marketing, things change incredibly fast and it can account for the phenomenon of do as I say not as I do because if something was published a few months ago or if Google's just had a fit might even be a few days ago then it's perfectly feasible that what, whatever was being taught actually no longer works and you then have to ask the question should I do it? should I follow what they're saying? should I follow what they're doing? and make your own mind up and it's often best to follow what someone's doing even if that conflicts with what they're teaching and that holds especially if they've got several different levels of teaching if they do sort of let's use a school analogy primary school secondary school and college levels because whatever's publicly available is often only the tip of the iceberg in that respect or it could be that they're just in the habit of regularly testing things to make sure that whatever they're teaching actually does still work rather than resting on their laurels. That's something I do and I've, quite a few other people I know do because as I said Google can pretty much throw the cards up in the air just to see where they land and you need to test to work out whether what you thought where you thought they were landing is where they still land and ultimately once you've got beyond the absolute beginner stage that's um, a call that only you can make but I think you should at least be well 
taking stock every now and then rather than just blindly following advice that may or may not be long working any longer or may not be getting the best results any longer. So hopefully this has been useful. If you'd like to know more, pop along to my blog which is trevordumbleton.com and there's lots lots more information there. Thanks very much.